What's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new vlog in Japan. We got a bunch of shopping in store today and we're actually going to be going to the Moira, Mo Moira, I don't know, we're going to an art museum. It was closed the last time we tried going and uh, before we do that, we got to get today started off with the Japanese Shake Shack. Nate and the homies are there right now eating lunch and uh, I'm excited to have Shake Shack in Japan for the very first time so let's go check it out. Oh yeah and on body today or on feet we got the uh, Puma RSX. We got the Stone Island Cargos, we got the North Face Jacket, the Nupsy. We also got my brand new Puma XO beanie, thank you Puma, and the brand new Puma XO hoodie as well. Cozy boys, we out here. So here's a look at the Japanese Shake Shack menu. I'm guessing this is what the holiday shakes look like. And check it out, they even have uh, Japanese Shake Shack merchandise too. Now I've only had Shake Shack once before, and that was in New York City a couple of months ago, so I'm curious how it's gonna compare to New York City Shake Shack. Grand total, 1,468 yen. All right, so we're done at Japanese Shake Shack. I gotta say, the burger was a solid seven out of 10. I think I like New York's a bit more. The fries were great, and the iced tea was, was ass tea. So the very first world we're gonna go into is the athletic world, I think. If I read that correctly, let's check it out. Whoa. Fucking crazy. This is so trippy. What the heck? this room is but it smells like flowers there's a really strong smell of flowers in here slide here it's a uh, little panels here and it's like a fruit ninja game too
was the uh, museum or gallery and we were made aware of this because of Nate. He saw Bella Hadid and The Weeknd on Instagram, on his Instagram story um, where they were at this gallery. This whole thing uh, started July, uh, I think July 7 this year and it's going to go until fall 2020. So we're going to try and get Natty to come out here because this is perfect for a date night. Homies are inside of this Wendy's right now behind me so we're going to find them and then continue on with their day. All right, so now we're here back in Toronto in my bedroom and I'm gonna be showing you guys today's pickups. Hope you guys enjoyed that portion of the vlog in Japan. That is the last bit of Japan content I have for a while. Also, a huge shout out to channel member Dennis Hopkins. Welcome to the Ultimate VIP Club. Thank you for joining the Sneaker Talk Channel Membership Club. Appreciate you, fam. Thank you for making the videos possible. And just a heads up, one of the pickups I'm actually got, I got in today I'll be selling for retail to channel members first as early access and then anybody can buy them if the channel members don't call first dibs. We have a few new pickups. First up, I have a jacket in over from the homies over at Asics Tiger and uh, they have a little little letter note thing here for me as well. It reads, Christian, wanted to make sure you were geared up for the winter, so thank you Asics Tiger. I appreciate it. A black coach jacket. Not entirely a, a winter jacket but still a dope jacket nonetheless it's very simple simple black coach jacket all black jacket it has a collar right here at the very top and in terms of branding it has a6 tiger black on black embroidery right here on the chest very simple size medium thank you a6 tiger for sending this over I appreciate it not a winter jacket I think they said they wanted me to be suited up for the winter but this will be coming in handy in the spring and summer so that's the first pickup we are Actually, if you haven't heard yet, we are giving away a pair of Zebra Yeezys, not this. This is my personal gross <laughs> Ugh, dirty, it doesn't, it doesn't smell that bad actually, but um, yeah, this is my personal pair I've been wearing a lot. I have a size 8, 9, and 10 Zebra Yeezy to give away, so we'll be giving away one of those. To enter that Yeezy giveaway, check out my second channel, Sneaker Talk 365 Subscribe to that channel and check out the review, that's how you'll be able to enter. This is the pair I actually ordered from Adidas on the Adidas website. I ended up buying four pairs of Static Yeezys, so this is one of the pairs of the Static Yeezys. You might be wondering, why the heck did I buy four pairs of static Yeezys? Are you crazy? A little bit. No, but on a serious note, I uh, originally bought this pair online on the Adidas website. So this is my original size 10 pair that I had planned to buy for myself. Really nice. If you guys haven't seen the Zebra, uh, haven't seen the Static Yeezys yet, I'll have a review on the channel later this weekend. And uh, these are really awesome. If you like the Zebras, I feel like you'll like these shoes as well. Why I bought four Yeezys is because the first pair I bought with the intention to be my own. It was going to be mine. And and then I found out I was going to Japan and then I was like, shoot, I'm not gonna be able to review these Yeezys if I'm in Japan. So I need to get a pair in my possession in hand. So I went to the mall and I bought a pair at the mall and they were sitting at the mall lots of pairs were available so we bought a pair at the mall and we also bought my sister a pair too I bought another pair of Yeezys at the mall so I could review that pair for you guys before going to Japan now what happened was I did not end up reviewing the pair because I just got too busy traveling and doing stuff in Japan so that's why I have two size 10 static mm -hmm. Yeezys now the thing is is they were sitting online as well on livestock's website deadstock.ca and I ended up buying one pair and I have a 15% discount code on Livestock's website, so I used that and was able to buy one pair. So I got them for below retail. And then I went back the next day and saw they were still available, so I bought another pair. Livestock, will you cancel my orders? No, they didn't. So I bought two more pairs of Static Yeezys, and as you guys know, Static Yeezys are currently sold out in terms of local stores in Toronto go. So I now have three pairs of Static Yeezys I have no intentions on wearing at all. So I will be selling all of them. Um, they're all going to be sale for retail to you guys, the Sneaker Talk family. 
family. If you guys want to buy a pair, I'm going to be doing a sneaker collection video very soon. I'll be doing an Adidas sneaker collection video, a Jordan sneaker collection video, a Nike sneaker collection video, getting into detail for each one, and then a giant massive collection video, just going over everything at the same time with less detail. And I'll be telling you guys what sneakers are for sale, what sneakers I will be selling, and like for what prices I'll be selling them for. And if you want early access or first dibs, you just have to be a channel member. That's one of the perks, I think one of the best perks I can give you guys if you are a channel member. Right now we only have three channel members, so if any of you guys want first dibs, um, I'll let you guys know how you can call first dibs very, very soon. I'll be setting up an email address and basically you have to email that address or uh, I'll have a password from my website and you can add them to cart on my website and then buy them there. But yeah, if you want first dibs, early access to a bunch of my sneakers I am selling for retail, below retail, or resale prices, then make sure you are a channel member. It supports me financially because it's a nice little, little extra couple of dollars I get per month to make these free videos for you guys to watch. And you also get a cool little badge beside your name in the comment section during the live chats and in the comments. So, you know, you can stand out, have a little badge of honor, which is pretty cool. I'm actually a channel member of PewDiePie. If you guys want to support your boy, you can do so. Again, it's not mandatory. You don't have to become a channel member to buy my shoes, but if you want first dibs, early access, that is the way. The final item is a sneaker pickup from the homies over at Converse, and this is a sneaker. I've never seen a brand do this kind of concept before. I've never seen any sneaker brand do this before, so it's really, really cool. Here's the box I just unboxed it earlier today, and uh, these sneakers actually release on January 19. That is tomorrow or uh, the day after, or, or today. I think January 19 is today, the day I upload this. So if you guys wanna buy these, these are the brand new Perks and Mini Converse collaboration. And these shoes are so freaking cool. Like, they're ridiculous. I'll, I'll shut up now and show them to you guys. So here, we got a little, little notes in here from Converse. Here's a little note in case you guys think I write the notes to myself. This, my handwriting is not this nice. The note reads, Hi Christian, Converse X Perks and Mini mutates a classic for a future take on the Chuck 70. Enjoy. So, huge thank you to Converse for sending over the love. I appreciate it. Really cool wrapping paper here. It's almost like art. Let me just show you guys. I'll take the shoes out right now. Let me show you guys the actual wrapping paper that they use. Really, really cool. That's different. It's like a piece of art, so I'm gonna try not to ruin that. This is two shoes in one. Two shoes in one. Yes, two shoes for the price of one. And uh, it's cool. So the theme for this is mutated. Um, it's a collaboration with Perks and & Mini and Converse. And to be honest, I've never heard of the brand Perks & Mini in my entire life before until now. And that's one of the things I love about Converse. They collaborate with a lot of brands. And, and so I'm able to find out about new brands like Perks & Me. So I'm gonna go check out their website, check out whatever else they do after I wear these shoes shoes. Now the thing is with these is it has two layers to it. So here's the original first layer right here. It almost looks like a winter jacket. You guys can see like the puffiness on the upper. Here's the Converse logo on the side. We have a uh, Prima Loft little tag right here. I'm not sure what that means. Does it mean it's extra warm? Does it mean it's waterproof? I don't know. But here is the inner side look. Here's the outer side look. They come with two shoelaces, navy blue and white. And the white pair actually has uh, some writing right here on the uh, the laces, which is really, really cool. It says Perks in Mini and then Psy Active. So that's cool. Here's a little look at that. The blue laces, Perks in Mini as well on the other side. So this is the one side right here. Here's a look at the tongue. I'll have a full review of these shoes over on Sneaker Talk 365 if you guys wanna see the full review. Here's a look at the tongue. Also, this collaboration was on the Chuck Taylor 1970s model, not just the regular Chuck Taylor, so these are obviously going to be better than the regular Chucks. Now, let me show you guys the crazy thing about these shoes, because these, these are amazing. So let me just, see the zipper here? See the zipper right here? It's a YKK zipper, really nice quality zipper, and what we're gonna do is we are going to unzip this front layer all around. Let's take it off. Bam! You now have 
Let me just take the little zipper part there. Two shoes in one. That's crazy, guys. That is insane. So you can switch it up. You can have the puffy jacket side on if you want, or you can have the uh, what feels like a canvasy. Well, it feels like a, a sturdy canvas material, navy blue. It doesn't have laces on this. Instead, it has two straps running down the middle, and then we have mutation on the one side, embroidered in. We got the Converse branding on the side. Flip it around. It says mutation. Mutation again, P A M mutation, and uh, yeah, that is that is the look at the Converse Perks in Many Chuck Taylor 1970 collaboration. I've never seen a shoe like this before. Let me know your thoughts on the two shoes in one concept. In the past, we have seen the Dr. Wu collaboration where it had the white canvas upper on top of the green canvas upper, and you have to basically tear and destroy the white canvas to reveal the green. But this this is totally different because you can have this this shoe whenever you want or you can throw on the other layer the winter jacket layer you could say and have that shoe whenever you want you don't have to destroy your shoe it's you can you can pick your mood you, can, you know you can flip it based on your your current situation whatever you want you can do this you can do that all in one shoe really cool Perks and Mini Converse releasing January 19, and I'll leave links to cop in the description down below. Should be available on the Converse website. I think Haven is also selling them, and Livestock Canada is selling them as well. Very unique. Let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below on this two-in-one sneaker. Have you seen another shoe like this before in your life, or is this the first time you've seen a two-in-one sneaker? With that said, hope you guys have an amazing day. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, thank you to the channel members. Sneaker collection videos coming soon, and we'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.